Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Today we're gonna to make homemade chocolate pudding. It's real simple to make and it's great. You'll never buy a box pudding again and you'll never buy the other ones that are already made. There's only five ingredients in here and I'm gonna get through them now. We're gonna start off, we're gonna take our milk. We got one quart of milk and I'm gonna put it into my saucepan. You need at least a two quart saucepan for this. And I'm gonna keep about this much, about eight ounces out for later. Now, I've told you many times, we're gonna put this on the heat right now to warm up a little bit. Oops, I got the wrong one. <laughs> it's a good thing Lorenzo's here. All right, we're gonna start heating that up. Now, I tell you all the time about getting a scale, and this is one of the reasons. I measured it out for you, and I'm going to have that in the description later in volume. But here's my bowl. It saves you a lot of time and a lot of washing up. Six ounces the bowl weighs. I need an ounce and a half, I mean two ounces of cornstarch, which I measured out painless for you, and it comes out to seven tablespoons. But I'm just putting it in. I started with six. I'm gonna go to seven to, to eight. And I'll have my uh, cornstarch. Believe me, it's not easy measuring out seven level teaspoons of cornstarch. Okay, we got our two ounces of cornstarch in here, so we're up to eight. Now we need an ounce and a half of, of cocoa. And that's about six tablespoons, level tablespoons, I already measured out for you. So all we gotta do is go to nine and a half on this scale, and we'll have it all mixed up. And there's your right measurements, no room for error. And you go one and a half, so that's nine and a half. So that we're good. And we got it in the bowl that we gotta mix together with it. So now we're gonna use this bowl. So you're not dirty and all this stuff up here. Now this will get mixed up a little bit like this. Looks like mighty fine chocolate pudding, the box. That's all it is. But you're making it without any chemicals, without any coloring, just pure stuff. That's it. Now what you gotta do with this, is you gotta mix a little at a time, and you gotta make it to a paste where there's no lumps. So I usually do a little bit at a time, you keep pressing it down, and you keep mixing it while we're warming up our milk. All right, so let me do this, and I'll get back to you and show you how it looks when it's all mixed up nice. Okay, so you see how it, I mixed it up with using that milk that I had left out. And I, I'm gonna, I put the rest of it back in here. You don't need it at all. And you just keep patting it down so you, there's no lumps in it, that's all. It's all gonna get mixed up pretty good, like that. Now with this, we're gonna put our sugar into here. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt into this. Quarter teaspoon. And once this comes to a boil, I'll show you our next procedure, what we're gonna do. So we put, what we did add in there was one cup of sugar, which is about seven ounces. And, then, and that's it. So we got this paste all ready to go. And I'll get back to you when this starts to boil. Okay, we got our water and sugar and salt just rolling up to a little bit of a boil. Milk. Milk, not water. And uh, just keep this rolling like that, nice and easy. Be careful it don't go over on you because that has a tendency to do that. And now what you do, you have to take a little scoop of the hot liquid. And you see we all mixed up here. Well, now we're gonna temper this here mixture in here to get it up to temperature a little bit. It's not that hard to do. You just put a couple of scoops of this in. It's tempering it. 
you always get the words mixed up. Today I got it right. So now we got this all mixed up. And we got to a, a little warmer temperature. Now we throw this in it all in one shot. Like that. Make sure you get it all in there. It's real simple. It's great. And you start mixing. Because now the cornstarch is going to start to thicken. And once that starts to come up to a little bit of a boil again, on the sides a little. Keep, keep stirring. That's going to thicken up. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to come up to a little bubble, a little boil. I'm going to give it about two minutes. At the boil. And I'll get back to you when the two minutes is up. Okay, we got our two minutes boiling, stirring constantly that while that's going on. Now we're going to take it off the heat. And we're going to throw in our two teaspoons of vanilla. And we stir that up, and I'll be right back to you with the next project. Hey, I want to tell you now we're going to give us, we're going to make a special treat. Nabisco in the 40s, they started having their graham crackers. They made up this called an ice box cake. My mom used to make it all the time. It was great. And all it is is their graham crackers. You don't have to do anything with them. Just pour the chocolate pudding on top of them. And before I put it all in there, I'm gonna take two, two out for me and the missus. Because these guys are gonna get that. And you keep put this in here like this. And I'll get back to you and with the rest of this. How you doing? We're back. We let our pudding cool and we made a nice homemade whipped cream, you can see it up here. And we made our icebox cake, and here's how it looks, beautiful. So I'm telling you, they're gonna love this. And we made two cups, with, if you wanna make just cups, you can make cups. And also, if you want, you can go and buy one of those uh, graham cracker crust at the store and make a chocolate pudding pie. And I'm telling you, you're gonna love this. And that's it, it's simple. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. This is it. I'm going to eat this. Thank you.